we ask you for a moment to stop. We want to take a breath. Let's pause for, for just a few minutes. Uh, it was a year ago tonight. Things really couldn't have been any more typical, right? We were here doing the news. You were getting ready for Thanksgiving. We had no idea in just a few short hours, our community, our newsroom, and two families would be left heartbroken. On November 22nd last year, we lost meteorologist Jason Myers and helicopter pilot Chip Tyag in a crash along I-77. Though our newsroom and the WPT family is hurting, we know our loss pales to what Chip and Jason's wives and families are feeling. You know, healing is hard, Jamie, we say that often, and Chip's wife, Carrie, spoke over the phone. You saw her story in our last half hour. Jillian Myers, Jason's wife, sat down to talk with us about Jason and his legacy, and tonight her story one year in the making, a year Jillian and her four children never saw coming. The thing you probably get asked all the time is, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. How do you answer that? Well, I want my innocence back. Nothing smells like Jason anymore. And, you know, our 20th wedding anniversary was in May. And our wedding song was, I will be here. And he wasn't here for it. One question in and you hear it. Jillian Myers is well thought, well spoken, and intentional. She loves words and uses them wisely. What I'm the most proud of him for was the way that he loved me and the way that I loved him. I mean, a soulful, surrendering kind of love, the kind that makes sparkle, that's, that's good spouse keeping. Jillian says Jason was a romantic. She says this while sitting inside the Duke Mansion in Charlotte. It's here in its gardens where Jason surprised Jillian in 2020 for their 17th wedding anniversary by recreating his original proposal in the Duke Gardens in Durham. Only this time he had their four kids all in on the surprise, vows handwritten on torn notebook paper and a new ring. He got down on one knee, he had this in his pocket, but most of it was memorized. Jillian, I want to spend my life with you. Through the ups and downs, my love will be unconditional. She still wears the ring. Wearing this just somehow still, still makes the loss more palatable for whatever reason. That vulnerability you just heard, her uncertainty about what she feels and why she's in this spot is what is so authentic about this 41-year-old widow. She admits the unknown is scary, the past year is foggy, and her faith is being tested. What would 20 have looked like if he were here? What would 40 have looked like? Gary get mad? Of course. Of course. I don't know. I feel incredibly robbed of what should have been. Yet every day, Jillian keeps going. I'm showing up big in every single void because that's what moms can do. And I'm showing up for those kids. I cheer louder on the sidelines than I would have before because it's for both of us. A year of weighty life decisions, many around Andrew, Lily, Luke, and Lydia. What do you see in your kids, each one individually, mm. that reminds you of Jason, that he left them in them? Mm. What a great question. I love that. So Andrew, our oldest, he's, he's quite loyal and very responsible incredibly hardworking, and that's a tremendous part of Jason's legacy. And then our daughter, Lily, she brings all the fun and all the charisma, and she knows how to have a good time. She has the most social energy of any of them, and she's quite a conversationalist. Luke reminds me so much of his dad. He um, is my nighttime tuck-in every night, He's my good morning hug. And the ways that he stepped right into being the man of the house, hmm. there's a lot to be said there. Lydia, she's intentional and she's thoughtful. And she and her dad had an incredibly special relationship. Inside the Myers home, family photos line the stairwell. Smiling beach photos show six silhouettes, but keep going up. Near the top are newer photos from this past year. 
now a family of five. There's tremendous life that's been out there. This, all of this has been public, right? But there's very much a private element to it too. And when, in the absence of tears, there's physical grief that happens. There is therapy. There are also some bright spots in the past 12 months. One tangible positive shines in the living room. I mean, that Emmy is pretty special. Jason was part of a WBTV team that won this Emmy in February, four months after the accident for coverage and dedication to St. Jude Children's Hospital. I don't know if anybody's earned one before after their passing, but um, it's a fixture in our home for sure. Jillian says Jason loved St. Jude. He would have loved this Emmy. The dream home this year had nods to Jason throughout its design and raised record-breaking money for sick children. Both things Jillian and all four kids celebrated. What the public knows is that he was great at his career. That was in so many ways his dream. But I can't help but feel like I'm pretty sure a big part of his dream was being married to me because we knew each other for an early age, and I, I know it was a big part of my dream to have him, for sure. Jason, the people person, Jillian, the wordsmith. She is now trying to be both. An introvert who expresses herself beautifully in journals, on laptops, on Instagram, and a someone who gets out there a little more. She's making herself be intentional, not just with words, but people. Because that's what Jason did. He cared about people, remembered people, smiled at people, and talked to everyone. So, uh, yeah, we're having fun out here. I'm leading our family through uncharted terrain. There's, there's no map. There's, there's no guide. It's not a moving on. It's never a moving on. But the will to keep moving forward, this is a chapter of a story that I didn't want to be mine. Yet through all of that, I'm pointing our kids, I'm pointing myself to the firm foundation of knowing that a perfect place is where Jason is. She was his everything. She was. Um, there's no question about that, you know? I know. I love how she said that at the end, the perfect place is where he is because faith mm -hmm. is such a major part of the Myers family. You know, Jason is the son of a preacher and they raised their kids in a church and their children love church. And our conversation was 40 minutes long, Jamie. And in many ways, it's like this real life, beautiful 40 minute sermon. And that full conversation is on our website right now, WBTV.com. Um, it is worthwhile to watch in full, whether you watch now or later, if you have family around yeah. this weekend, because it is so family centric and so true and real and, and difficult, but she cops to that, the real life lessons. Her strength through all of this has been really an inspiration to all of us. There's been so many times even here at the station, right, as colleagues, as coworkers, Jason as our friend, Chip as our friend, it's been hard out here. And But then you watch her strength and what she's gone through uh, what Carrie has gone through to continue on, it, it reminds us to keep going forward. Remember, there are life lessons, right, yeah. that, that they have still to this day about smiling and finding the positive and I'm always asking how you're doing. They were both so good at all of that. And I, and I also just can't help but think about Glenn and Susan, uh, yes, Jason's parents. Jason's parents. Um, I know they're hurting a as well through all of this. We saw them at the St. Jude uh, walk and run that was in Uptown yeah. a, a few weeks back, and it was terrific to, to see them again. I remember the, uh, the story uh, Susan told um, at the memorial service how Jason showed up on Mother's Day, surprised her. She's just walking down the greenway, getting in her exercise that day, and here comes this tall guy down the greenway who came up from his lunch break here at WBTV, you know, driving an hour or so north uh, to go see his mom on Mother's Day. And Jillian brought that same story up as well. Uh, I mean, it's just, spoke, so. that's the lesson, I it think, is, right there. It to, is the lesson. It, and know. just also the reminder that you never know. So hug those you love yeah, and, you know. and tell those mm -hmm. that you care about them you care about them, just like Jillian and Carrie have continued to teach us to yeah. do. Uh, a beautifully told story, uh, Molly. Thanks for sharing the conversation. We also want to remind you we did speak with Chip Tyog's uh, wife as well. Both those stories on our website, WBTV.com. Just go to our website, click that link that says Remembering Jason and Chip, and we are certainly doing that tonight. Right now, we also know the forecast.